Well, as you can obviously tell by the title and where I'm at, I'm at Plaza Cibeles in Irapuato, Guanajuato. Once again, I'm um, shopping and we're at Sears to kick off the hunt. Hmm, oh, okay. Nothing good. Am I shocked? Oh, this was here since July when I came. That's not a good sign. They don't have the what if characters though. It's the same stock from when we came in June or July? I forgot. July, right? Yeah. They have less stock, if anything. Last time we came, it was super packed. Okay, the cars. Uh, ha, ha, ha. There's nothing. Is there really nothing? That's kind of sad. Oh, 159 pesos for a single. And the deluxes are... Are these in Spanish? Oh, they are. I've seen these before. Yeah. The final scene in Toy Story 3. Who knows what's in those boxes? Overall though, the stock here sucks worse than McAllen's, so I'm gonna go now to Mexico's version of Macy's, which is Liverpool, and see what they have there. Okay, let's look around. Marvel Legends right here. Uh, nothing good. Hot Wheels. Also, nothing good. I know the cars are like somewhere over here. Let me see. At the same time, you're getting a little tour of, of the store. That's strange. I don't see any cars. Oh. That's... That's sad. So we're in Leon, Guanajuato, and this is at Liverpool and at the mall, one of the malls. Um, that's, I think, a little bit over 60 bucks. Huh. No, tiene el. Bueno, aquí hay más, mira. Oh, este también es nuevo. ¿Y este cuánto? 709. Como 70, 60. No, no creo. Pero hay un chingo de cosas. No, menos. ¡Oh! Este también no ha salido. No manches. Ok, there's actually pretty good stuff here. Here is their tiny car section. This is the car section.
Yeah, I've come here to Julio Cepeda so many times and they seem to be on the same stock. Captain Carter. Oh, they actually have good stuff. This is at a Walmart um, store. Bro, this is a whole ass, um, I, don't, I don't even know what to say, bodega? I think that's the right term. Cause just look at this whole place. So that right there is the Juguetilandia, whatever it's called. That's where all the toys are. That's where we just went hunting right now. Really cool store. Never been there before. It's part of Walmart because Walmart, the regular one, is right across the street of the parking lot. So we're gonna go into the regular Walmart and see what they have. All right, this is the toy section for Walmart. And all I see is 2022 plastic vehicles that they look like shit. What is this shit? Sick. What is this shit? Look at this. Cars hero. I'm a hero. These don't look heroic at all to me. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh. It's kind of sad that this catches my attention more than this. But at the same time, oh, okay, never. We got some searching to do. Oh, this one's cool. There's a lot of cool vehicles. I mean, back in the US, you're not going to find Hot Wheels for shit right now. They're all scalped. Oh, look, never mind. Sorry for trash talking you cars. There's a little section right here. Interesting. I wonder if racing red vehicles are even a thing here in Mexico. Because I really want a racing red vehicle on international packaging. But I don't even know if that's a thing. So if someone can let me know, let me know. But yeah, I, I don't... I don't dig these at all. I know they're like plastic vehicles and they're not 155 scale or anything like that, but... No. Just, they don't do it for me. This is one of my favorite shops to come to. Well, it's a supermarket, but one of my favorite shops to come to because their toy section is large and I never really go home without finding something good. So, let's kick it off with the car section, shall we? Uh, <laughs> let's sad, see. Sad, sad, sad. But, but it would not be sad if they had a Mr. Drippy. Well, I I left one, I left one years ago because I already had it. But ah, uh, what can I say? Oh, okay, okay. Well, let me let me just look around. Never mind. I'm just gonna look around. Do I have them? That's Racing Center McQueen. This is a... Uh... Who's that? Yellow rims. I don't know which one's the rarer one. I always forget. Oh, a Fillmore. On the blue card. Interesting. So there's... Well, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna get any of them, right? Because, like, I already have these characters. But, like... It just fascinates me to see 2020 cards with 2018 cards mixed in with 2017 cards all in one shop. And they don't have any like 2021 stuff. Well, from singles, because for deluxes, they do. Um, that's pretty much it. The only things that have really caught my attention were these. That one, that one. That one and that one, but I mean, I really don't need any of them. They are cool to see on international card backs, though. And launchers, they have just the Francesco ones. And the color changes, they just have Bobby, Mater, Storm, and Cruz. So, um, let's see what else they got. Marvel Legends. Oh, this is pretty cool. I have the OG one. 
Um, well, I guess it's safe to say that no matter where you are in the world, these just won't sell. So, it's my favorite character. What do you think? Best character, right? Light. Yeah, best character. There's more car stuff here, but you can literally see this at any store. I think these are in Spanish, though. Mm. Uh, I don't know why they cover that. I didn't see this little area. But Walmart had a better selection, if I'm going to be honest. Ya es el segundo que encuentro con nada adentro. Sí, ya, ya lo tengo. Bye. Oye, aquí está otro. Here it is. Uh, is this missing like a whole track too or what? New Year's Eve. And the last place I'm hunting at because this is the last day I'm at Mexico. After this, I'm going back to Texas and, you know, back home. So we're going to hunt at HEB. And um, I already know I'm not going to find anything, but whatever. It's a good way to end the vlog. So this is their little Hot Wheels section. I think if the logo's cut off like that, it means it's a 2022 vehicle. And then the other ones are, you know, older stuff. Um, there's some Matchbox stuff and there's some cars over here. So, in other words, it's just old stock. So, um, that's gonna be pretty much it for the actual toy hunting. Um, well, the footage, right? I got some pretty good, decent footage. Interesting stuff. Definitely not like my other trips. I like how this guy looks on international packaging. Now, will I get it? 129 pesos. I think it's like five bucks, so I'm not sure. But, um, I'm gonna show you guys once I get home everything I got, so... That's pretty much it for the hunting portion of the video. All right, I'm finally back home from Mexico, 10 hour drive. And um, yeah, definitely wasn't like previous years or just in general, like back in the summer of 2021, because I went in the summer of 2021 and I'm sorry if I sound tired. <laughs> I am, <laughs> that's why I sound all like sluggish. But yeah, um, I only got five things. A Hot Wheels car, a Mater, uh, two Marvel Legend figures, and uh, another Marvel Legends piece, but it's an Iron Spider helmet. Um, all the other stuff in the background, is just other stuff that's been coming in from the mail and stuff from Disneyland that I haven't still even unpacked from the trip. Yeah, I got work to do in 2022. Um, obviously this video is gonna be um, recorded in 2021, uploaded in 2022, and at the time that I'm recording this, this right now, as you see me in my room, it is January 1st, so, you know, a bit of time skipping here and there, I know, it's a bit of, of a mess, but this is the time schedule I'm able to work with to upload this video, anywho, um, this was at Liverpool, these two, this was at Walmart, well, both of these were at Walmart, actually, all three of these were at Walmart, and, um, reason I got the Maters, because, well, let's be honest, in 2022, the main line's gonna kind of suck, as in, like, they're gonna look like this. And on top of that, I have a McQueen and Cruz on those international card arts that are soon to be standard in the U.S. as well. So I thought, you know what? I'll grab the Mater. It's kind of hefty, too. It's got some nice weight. It looks really good on 2021 artwork, so I thought, why not? Um, there is a, I think it's a Treasure Hunt variation of this car. But when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I like it. And like, even when I would see it on Instagram, I'd be like, oh, Super Chase or not, I like it. If I ever see it in stores, I'll pick it up. Obviously, here in the US, Hot Wheels, non-existent. You won't find Hot Wheels right now. There's like, there's no such thing as Hot Wheels right now in the US. There's like nothing. Pegs are empty. Walk into your local Walmart or Target and you'll see what I mean. There's just, there's not even a Hot Wheels section anymore. It's just blank. There's just empty shelves. So when I went to Mexico and I saw cases upon cases upon cases of all these Hot Wheels, I'm like wow, nothing gets scalped here. And I was able to pick up something with ease. And I would see other people there buying Hot Wheels too for their kids, but they were just buying models that they thought, oh, this one's nice, not to resell. 
the difference between the US and Mexico, huh? So yeah, I was able to peacefully pick out a car I liked, which was this one. And I already checked if it's the treasure hunt, but it's not. But I don't know the difference between the two of them. So if someone can tell me, let me know. Um, but from what I've seen in pictures, they look the same. So I'm happy with this one. Um, Winter Soldier, Marvel Legends. This isn't even supposed to be out in the US until May. And this West Coast Avengers Wanda until March, I think. And even then, I think it's an... No, it's not an Amazon exclusive. I had pre-ordered it on Amazon, though. And um, this has been in the U.S. already for $120 on Target. Um, the pre-orders are, are just... The item itself, in general, is out of stock on Target. So I saw it at the Walmart in Mexico, and it was $140. Bucks, 20 more bucks than Target. But in Mexico, they don't charge you taxes. So it kind of works, you know? So I just went for it. I was like, okay, you know what? Whatever. Why not? But... Yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this um, Mexico trip video. Definitely, like I said, it definitely isn't as impressive as the one that I recorded in the summer of 2021. That one was way better. But at least this one has a happy ending. Because at the end of the 2021 um, summer Mexico trip, you saw that my luggage was lost. And most of the stuff inside was destroyed. This time, though, I took a trip driving instead of flying. And all of my stuff is in one piece. The difference it makes, huh? Also forgot to mention that on the drive back home to Texas, we stopped at a gas station and they had a Jada Mac. They had about four of them in stock for 30 bucks. I was shocked when I saw this. <laughs> I picked it up because I've been wanting a Jada Mac for a while. It's the Cars 1 paint job, not the Cars 3 one. Um, they had like about four or five. I, I don't remember how many they had in stock. I didn't record or take any pictures because I didn't have my phone on me. I had left it in the car. And, you know, we had gotten down to the gas station to um, make a pit stop. You know, buy some snacks, fill up with gas, go to the restroom and all that. And, like, as soon as I was leaving, I spotted this uh, uh, in a glass cabinet along with some other Jada vehicles that weren't cars, uh, Pixar cars related. And the Mac just instantly caught my attention. I was like, there's no way. Is that what I think it is? A Jada Mac? And I asked, can I see it? I look, you know, I took a good look at it and everything, and I was like, yeah, sure enough, official Jada merchandise right there. Got all the licensing info for the 124 scale Mac vehicle. I should probably take this off, but that's the barcode that they checked me out with. But hey, um, next time I go to Mexico, I'm definitely going to start hunting at gas stations now because apparently they got Jada cars. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. Piston Cup Productions signing out, and I will see you guys next time.